to replace or keep track of all of our passwords. This is fascinating. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, it's I, so I, confusing. Every time you got to change one, and then oh, and you got to memorize all the passwords oh, and usernames. So and you got to save them somewhere, and it's really uh, troublesome. Look, on average, we have dozens of usernames and passwords. About 92, some say. And some uh, make you change it more often, and then you soon like you've got too many varieties. Yeah, and four out of five data breaches result out of weak or stolen passwords, and that's why it's a problem. And now this is why AT&T, Sprint, T-Mobile, Verizon, they rolled out a new single sign-on program, which is called the Project Verify. And it's actually based on data gathered from different sources, mm -hmm. but it identifies you, so you don't, you don't need a password. So it's based on the, your phone number, the IP address, your account, tenure, type of phone account and SIM card details. Um, and it works similar, similarly to when you have to log on into a site using your Facebook account mm -hmm. or Gmail. Mm -hmm. Okay, so it works the same way. So this is how it works. You download the app. When you're required to log in, you press the Project Verify button. Uh, and then you just, you, by the way, you can also select in the app itself, you can select which apps you would like to sign on into with this um, uh, service. The only downside is that if somebody steals your phone, they'll have access to all oh, the applications. So what you need downside. to do is you need to have a PIN or sign in with biometric data into your phone to open the, the home screen. Okay, so now we got some drones delivering golf to golfers.